to item 11, which is the establishment of a weed management policy implementation political advisory group. And Mara is here for, for this item. Uh, this, this stems from the, the, the workshop or the discussion we had between councillors, local board members only a, only a short while ago, where I think we made there was, it was some good progress in, in teasing out all the issues. <coughs> But now we have to uh, set up this group, which will be a, a matter that, uh, morning Gail as well. Morning. Um, it'll be a group that needs to um, continue working through the issues with the officers so they can get some uh, understanding of the political thinking on these, on these various items. So um, I think this was an, uh, an item that when, we, when, we, the, when the uh, local boards came in, there was a lot of interest from the local boards. And there's a lot of different divergent views um, on how to control weeds, and different people of uh, different areas have got different uh, concerns and and requirements. So um, it's not a one you know, shop fits all kind of situation. So maybe Mara, if you have any comments that you wish to make on the on the report, or should we just move forward with it? Mm -hmm. Through the chair, I'm just happy to take this read. And I think councillors have a good understanding of where we're at with the weed management policy implementation. Right, so what I've, what's been suggested here, <coughs> that the, the problem we have is that the local boards probably, uh, you know, we've got 21 local boards. Um, they, a, a lot of them want to be, want to have some way of being represented here. So I've suggested, well, it's, it's to Mara that we have six to 10 <coughs> local board reps and that would obviously be worked through um, local board services. So um, we don't have to um, do anything there. We'll just, uh, local board service can go out and do that. But I know the Waitakere local board, uh, Waitakere Rangers local board, they certainly, um, you know, had particular um, uh, issues and, and they've been doing work on this for quite a while. And their chair, um, um, Sandra Coney is very keen for her to be involved, but maybe one other member from their board as well. So that will no doubt be worked through with local board services. So as far as the uh, the council group, I've, it's been suggested six councillors. Um, that's open to uh, discussion, and, and if more want to be involved, <coughs> well, um, so Councillor Darby, what, you know, yeah, look, at the, when I read this, I thought, wow, that's a couple of football teams there. Um, that's a big meeting, and that's a lot of money. I, I really, you know, want the risk representation, but I'm just wondering whether, you know, five... I think local board representation is key here. I, I wondered if it was more like five. I'm just wondering how we arrived at these numbers, because it's always hard to get, you know, 16 people together. Um, so the... the, the, the the intent is great, but the reality is often something different. Uh, because my experience is uh, low turnout when you've got someone to hide behind. <coughs> um, don't we know it? Um, so I'm wondering if, if it's regional, you know, is there a north, south, east, west? Is there five, Plus possibly, and, and local, board, local boards decide that? And Mr Chair, I'm just wondering if it's yourself as chair and two others. I'm interested. I'm just weary of these big groups that um, are pretty hard to convene. That's all. But I, I'm, well, I'm interested. Well, in, saying, in saying that, Councillor Darby, I mean, I've been involved in a few working parties, um, <coughs> with, and Councillor Casey's been in, with them in relation to gambling and alcohol and, and, other, and other areas. And, you know, um, some people are very, very diligent in, in, in attending, and unfortunately, other people do drop off and that's when it gets difficult when people drop off and you don't have the numbers so I you know, I'm in your hands but we're in your hands as a, as a as committee but um, I I don't see any big problem in, in those numbers um, you know if, if there's if there's the issues are there or the works there to work through with the officers I do think that we need good representation it's uh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll put my name forward. Okay, Mr. Councillor Webster. Well, my only concern, Mr Chairman, and I happen to agree with Councillor Darby about the numbers. I mean, because of the different issues in different parts of Auckland, it might be better if we 
you know, had local board representation in a cluster. I mean, I, I know, and Councillor Cashmore might back me up, that you're going to get, you know, very different um, concerns in rural Auckland as to in central Auckland. And if, if you're on an advisory group comprising of, you know, a lot of people um, from the metro area, well, it doesn't matter how many, you know, if you're going to have someone from Rodney and someone from Franklin, you're always going to be overruled. And I think the issues, you know, we should be looking at something a little bit different. So, Gail, what do you think? I mean, you, you understand where I'm coming from, I'm sure. And I, it really it's, it would concern me. Yeah, I think it's a valid point to be making. I think one of the challenges will be just in terms of how we address those different perspectives is just setting up the agenda quite carefully so that we've got clear delineation between the issues that might be arising in the rural space and the urban space. So that's a possible way to address that challenge. But I mean, you know, to be absolutely frank, I mean, there are people who don't want to use any sprays at all, mm. anywhere, ever. Mm. And, you know, those of us who sort of are practical farming people know that that's just not possible in some areas. Well, okay. well you should be on there. I don't want to be particularly on there, but, you know. <laughs> well, what, what we're... Yeah. Sorry. What, well, I'm going to put the motion on the floor at, at the numbers that, I've, that are there. And um, is there a seconder for that? I'll see if it's... Yeah, I'll second yeah. it, George. Second it. Councillor Casey, you're second it. Uh, that's the chairman plus five councillors plus ten local board reps and the, somebody from the Independent Maori Statutory Board. Um, so we now have a speaking. Um, we'll start with Councillor Casey and then count Mr. W Mr. W Wilcox. Oh, it was to nominate Councillor Walker, but he's just arrived back in the room. Which is great. Uh, so you, I, I think the numbers, um, the the experience of larger groups ha have have been really positive, oh, and no. uh, you know <laughs> I, I think you're right when you say that there is a drop off. It just means that we we make good decisions. It might democracy is always a bit messy, and um, this is a, an issue that really is felt strongly across the region. <coughs> I'm all for it. So, okay, um, Mr. Wilcox. Um, yeah. Remembering my days from the West Coast Planning Liaison Group and our fund that we had up mm -hmm. there, um, we were quite um, proactive as far as weed was con weeds were concerned up in Titirangi. But, you know, I mean, I also know my own understanding of, of being a farmer that there are two sides to every story. Mm. So I'm just going to ask what... I mean, I don't see a Maori impact statement in this, so I'm, I'm just trying to work out what we're trying to get out of this advisory group. Is it just a bunch of uh, politicians going around saying, you know, we're going to do things? Because, I mean, the bottom line was, I thought when we had that show the other day, um, you know, that provided the information of which way we were going to go. So I, I'm just trying to understand what we're trying to get out of this group to start off with. And where does Mātauranga Māori fit into all of that? You going to that, no? Or, um, yeah. Kia Glenn. Um, actually, it's part of the weed management policy which Council adopted in um, 2013 to establish this um, political advisory group um, to sort of oversee the implementation of that policy. So it's just sort of a, che a check-in and governance type entity. In terms of um, Mataranga Māori, and I do know there is no Māori impact statement in the report, um, it is, we're using the Māori model um, for our engagement with mana whenua. We've been to the um, information hui in Manukau in May, and obviously it's an important concept to try and minimise agrochemical use um, for, for some iwi, but also balancing that against the primary productivity drivers as well. Yeah, so supplementary to that, Mr. G. So will we be having any hui in the bush, or are we only going to have them in the city? <laughs> um, it's just a supplement. Um, Mara's response, and um, I guess to build on that, there's there's quite a lot of work going on on the ground, and that includes, um, you know, quite a bit of liaison with mana whenua. This um, advisory group that's the subject of this paper, this is really just the high-level check-in 
that that work's proceeding according to expectations. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, Deputy Mayor. Thank you, Mr Chair. I, I mean, I think it's great, and I, I guess like Councillor Casey, I'm not too worried about, about the numbers. I think the critical thing is here that this is not to redo the policy. Policy's been done, so yep. this isn't a revisit ground up thing. Um, I guess, uh, and this is probably just my way of a question, Mr Chair, so this is the time when we do have that thorny old issue of, you know, do we use glyphosate or do we use steam? Let's talk about, you know, it'll come to here to say let's talk about what that problem, how we deal with that problem throughout the complexity of the region, because region. I'm, I'm with <coughs> Councillor Webster, you know, I, it's fantastic if we support the policy, which is a, is a chemical reduction policy, which is fantastic. But as Glenn has said, up in Titirangi and Langholm, you ain't ever going to get effectiveness out of, wet, out of steam spray. You just aren't. So this is the group, I'm presuming, that will help us deal with that complexity on a community-by-community basis. That's what we're looking for here? Yep. Okay. So that, that widespread, I think, is is reasonable. And I um, I guess from my Waitakere days, I feel like I had 22 years of weeds. I have no wish to go on this. <laughs> but on the other hand, if you need someone to, to make up the numbers and represent the weed capital of the universe, which is the West, <laughs> I'm happy to put my name forward. Well, I'm forward. certain that your Waitakere Rangers group will be well I represented. I know they yeah, will, yes. Know. Bless their hearts, but I sometimes <coughs> think we also need s someone who can moderate the enthusiasm and, and aroha for the bush of our Waitakere Rangers, local board people, and maybe bring a practical element to it as well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Councillor Wayne Walker? Sure. Um, I know I'm happy to put my name forward, and um, I'm sure though Councillor Watson is not here, he would be interested too. Surprise, surprise. That's from the same well, area. Um, no, that's from uh, the well, same area. Well, what we're going to do is... Yeah. Does I'll put the name well, forward as a rural person. Councillor Darby, well, Darby you, right, well, I'm going to move the recommendation as it is. Councillor Nye, you second that? Yep. Uh, I was going to nominate Councillor Clo from Titadangi. Like so, um, don't you need to change the words, or are you not going to do the names? No, uh, we're going to do the names. I'll do the names. Pass this, and then we'll do the names. Oh, OK. OK. So, I'll, is there any other speakers? So I'm going to move this uh, to Councillor Clove. Well, if you want names, I'll replace Councillor Holse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she's done her back I'm, I'm going to come back and do the names afterwards. So I'm going to move the motion. Those in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Aye. Yeah, that carried. Right, now I'll move a motion that... Oh, did, did, did you just... Well, I'm sorry. Aye. 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 I'm just sort of looking at a brother across the road. But are you going to go or not? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. All good now. So, um, I'm happy. <coughs> Southside's okay, so represented. We, we, now, we now move to the names. So we've... Uh, that, that the following councillors... He can represent us. ...be... Uh, um, ...be members of this... ...of the... Uh, ...of the advisory group. So, OK. So there's a... There's there's, there's how many have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, oh, there's six. Council no, we can't have what, what, what Yeah, no, what about Councillor Webster? Do you interest? Yeah, better. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> Councillor Cashmore, as leader of the rural panel, should step up, but he won't. <laughs> well, either Councillor Webster or Councillor Cashmore for that area. Ooh. Uh, so which one, which one are you going to do? be Cashmore. Which one? One of uh, the Oh, more weeds out south. <laughs> Councillor Webster. Okay, oh, that's so why Arthur's there. Now they're up north. The names that we've got uh, are councillors Clo, Wayne Walker, God, Webster, Darby, Darby, and Anai. And I'm in the chair. Yep. Okay. Okay, so. Is that six? Another dreadful thing. Oh dear. <laughs> Did you just go to the boundary? Okay. okay. I'll move those names. Six. Seconded by Councillor Anai. I'll put the motion. Those in favour? Aye. 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 Yeah. Carried. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. Yeah. And now we come to...